Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to check out the Creator Max 2 from Flashforge. This is a 3D printer that enables us to actually print with dual extruders. So there's actually two system independent extruders that are built into this actual printer that enables us not only to print simultaneous prints, duplicate prints, but also imprint at the same time with multiple filaments, which enables us to actually do some really good print jobs. And of course, the best part about this entire thing is that it actually comes almost 95% assembled, very easy to use. Thank you very much to Flashforge for sending me this unit to review. But of course, let's not waste any time. Let's check out the Creator Max 2 and all of the cool things that come with that system. And of course, if you guys are as much fans as I am when it comes down to 3D printing, make sure you hit that like and subscribe so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos for you guys on the channel. As I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, this system features a dual extruder system to maximize productivity, which means we can actually do mirror printing, duplicate printing, as well as soluble printing modes, which enables us to actually have much more intricate and more complicated or complex designs out of this printer. The interface is very nice. There's a small touchscreen interface with an HD IPS display. And of course, the entire casing or the actual frame is made out of metal, which makes it very durable. Again, 90% of this was already pre-assembled in the box. Now, when it comes to the actual material, we can use for the filaments here for this dual extruder system. We can use PLA, ultra strong PLA, uh, PETG, PVA, ABS, ABS Pro, as well as HIPS. And of course, uh, the main benefit here is that you're able to use two different colors at the same time because we are able to put two spools on the back of this printer. When it comes down to dimensions, for the most part, it's about 21 inches, 20.7 uh, by 14.2 by 15.9 inches as far as the dimensions. And it does actually come almost pre-assembled entirely inside of the main box. And it is well protected with uh, insulation and, of course, support beams. The printer itself is actually not that heavy. It's about 33 pounds considering the size of what it can do. And again, it has two spool holders on the back that they provide you with the actual hooks for in the box. As far as the main software that they recommended with this is they use Flash Print, which is an easy software that they provide you with the SD card that is included in the package. Um, you're able to use 3MF, STL, OBJ, uh, FPP, BMP, PNG, JPEG, and JPEG files to be able to print from. So of course, a, a multitude of connections. Uh, you can connect to it directly via USB, which include, which is also included in the package. Uh, last but not least, you can also use the SD card since it also has an SD card slot on the side next to the power button. And as far as compatibility with your system, um, you just need to have a system that's able to run flash print. Using this 3D printer was very simple for me. All I really needed to do is after I got it out of the box, I pretty much just removed all the pieces, assembled, put in the two extruders, and of course, course, aligned and put in the actual uh, filaments on the back and then warmed it up. Uh, the process on here is very simple. There's an alignment process that you do need to do at the beginning of this thing to make sure that you have it leveled. Uh, there is the heat element here. The table itself actually gets warmed up and there are actually replacement uh, units for that in case you do scrape it. Uh, they do provide us an actual uh, scrape that enables us to actually remove the product once it's actually printed. And what I like about it is you're able to customize the entire experience to be able to print what you like. As I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, almost 95 or 90 to 95% of the actual printer was pre-assembled. The extruders themselves are very simple to assemble. Uh, they give you all of the necessary tool between the screws, uh, the additional caps here, as well as actually the mounting uh, bracket for the bottom of the plate. And of course, the tool that you need to be able to tighten or loosen the actual uh, screws that you have in there. The scrape tool is also included in the box to be able to remove your projects once they're done. A very simple quick start guide and they have replacement uh, sheets that basically that are adhesive sheets on the back here 3m sheets that go on top of your uh, heat plate and the re really really nice thing about it is obviously they'll give you this to be able to do the alignment uh, last but not least replacement filament extruder tips in case you damage them although the scrapers that are built into this allow you to actually have a very nice long life on them uh, there is no filament left on it because as you're putting it back into turning it off mode or breast mode uh, it'll actually just clean the tip and it makes sure that everything stays clean. And I think this is where they kind of went above and beyond. They included an additional heat plate in case for any reason you do damage the one that you have in there. This is simple to use. So not only the replacement pads on top of it, but also an additional one on top of the one that's already pre-installed inside of the printer. So I'm pretty sure you guys want to see some examples of the print jobs I was able to do. Uh, the main benefit, of course, here is the ability of running multiple services. So first, you can either run uh, independent prints. So you can print one thing on the left and one thing on the right with a different filament. You can also run parallel, which means basically just duplicate the same project the same way I was able to do it with this Goku figure. I had one in blue and one in white. Uh, one of the other things you can also do is print multi 
filament uh, projects similar to this one. Now, obviously this is just the wall protection that I set up with it so that I make sure there's no issues, but you can see here exactly how the, uh, the detail and the example of how well this printer works. And this, by the way, was a, one of those example projects they included on the SD card. Um, my son wanted me to print him, of course, a Minecraft sword. I needed, of course, a, hold, a phone holder. This one is an Android one with a cable extension at the top. At the top. And of course, this works great with any smartphone. And the LG Win is also very nice and it fits perfectly at the bottom here. There is an opening for the cable for the USB-C connector at the bottom, and it really makes it very nice. Uh, the other one I did actually get a chance to print is this uh, phone holder as well. This one is a cat just sitting there and the phone just sits and rests on the back of the cat. This one took me a little bit longer because I had it set up as 100% film, uh, filament, which means it actually filled it up all the way. This is a much more uh, stronger project to be able to print. Uh, you can also, of course, print in uh, print other things that you can find. I was using a lot of projects directly from Thingiverse, and uh, all of those projects are very simple. You download them, load them directly into the Flash Print tool, and it's very simple. I even created this one uh, to just basically say TK Bay, and I had the wall set up around it, which made it look like a nice little outline for the actual text. This actually enables us to pin the uh, top of the face mask under our nose if you guys wear glasses like I do, so that it doesn't allow the air to go up and fog up our glasses whenever we're wearing a face mask in public. So this was actually definitely a very nice little project. And again, all of these things uh, you can find with the exception of this one directly on Thingiverse by just going to Thingiverse.com and downloading the project and of course supporting the creators if you'd like. Prior to getting this system from FlashForge, I was actually pretty intimidated by 3D printers. Uh, in the past, when I did uh, try to attempt to actually get into 3D printing, I received this one kit that included every single piece of that printer uh, that needed to be assembled. It was essentially the IKEA model of 3D printers. What we get with this system, it's actually a very different experience. It's literally 90% 90, 90 assembled. The only thing that you need to assemble or put in there essentially is the extruders, then they provide you the screws, and they also provide you the instructions on how to do so. The SD card that's included in the box also includes videos that allow you to follow through and know exactly what you need to do from alignment, from installing, and also how to actually put in the, the filament in and run it through. Now, there's a filament scraper that's present on the top, uh, right around where the filament extruder kind of sits when it's in rest mode. And I found that to be very nice because it keeps the filament from actually running extra. So if you've ever used a 3D printer, you probably know that it sometimes will actually seep in a little bit more as it's cooling down, which creates a little bit of an, an unsightly scene. But at the end of the day, I, I really, really like the way uh, FlashForge did this. It's super simple, super easy to use. You don't have to connect it to your PC. You can literally do all of the stuff on the SD card and transfer it over. What I would probably say is once you first get it and set it up, experiment a little bit and give it some time. And depending on the, on the, on the project that you're using, the actual printer tells you roughly how long it's going to take. So if you put in an SD card, and I'll say this because this took me roughly about five to six hours just to complete, because this is a very dense and I had it uh, fill at 100%. This is not hollow on the inside, which makes it a much more uh, actually higher quality build but unfortunately it does take a lot more time. So at the end of the day, if you're looking for a reasonably priced dual extruder system, not dual in the same unit, because I've seen other units as well on the market that have a dual extruder, but they're both built into the same actual piece. Uh, this enables it actually, like I said, you can actually print up to two things as you're seeing with the video here. I'm able to print them at the same time and it is truly very nice to see. Uh, the overall uh, encasing and the actual product itself is built very nicely, very high quality, and I feel like it's reasonably priced for what it offers. Um, if you're looking for something like this and you want to be able to get into 3D printing, I really think that the Creator Max 2 is definitely a very nice upgrade to anybody's existing system or a first time entry level to anybody that's looking to get into 3D printing. And unless you guys had the same experience I had at the first time I tried to get into 3D printing and I literally had to assemble the entire printer piece by piece, which even though I was able to complete the assembly, but by the time I was able to complete it, I couldn't figure out how to troubleshoot it. This does not have any troubleshooting issues at all. Literally, you mount the actual extruders, put in the filament and start printing. They have some projects already built in on the SD card and it's easy to start. And of course, I hope you guys like this video. As usual, all the information you guys need about this will be in the description below. And of course, like and subscribe and share that with your friends as it always supports the channel. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.